Hey everyone, so today we're talking about the best M.2 NVMe SSDs you can pick up for gaming right now. I've spent weeks looking into the top performing options, and I'm breaking down the ones that really stand out. Whether you're aiming for faster load times, smoother open world performance, or upgrading to keep up with modern titles, there's something here for every setup. Let's jump in. The WD Black SN7100 is a new Gen 4 NVMe drive designed for mainstream gaming laptops. This thing uses brand new, super fast Keoxia memory chips with their Polaris 3 controller. And here's the kicker it's completely single sided. That means better thermals and cramped spaces, which matters when you're stuffing it into a laptop that's already running hot. The performance numbers look pretty aggressive. The flagship 4 terabyte model hits 7,000 megabytes per second reads and 6,700 megabytes per second writes, which maxes out what Gen 4 can deliver without breaking a sweat. The 1 terabyte and 2 terabyte models both reach 7,250 megabytes per second reads and 6,900 megabytes per second writes, while the 500 gigabyte drops to 6,800 megabytes per second reads and 5,800 megabytes per second writes. Random performance is actually where this drive surprised people in testing absolutely crushing 4K reads at over 100 megabytes per second in some benchmarks while staying remarkably cool. Under a proper motherboard heatsink, it topped out at just 48 degrees Celsius during heavy workloads, which is exceptional for any SSD, let alone one this fast. The trade-off here is that it's DRAMless, using host memory buffer instead. For most laptop users and gamers, that's not going to be noticeable in everyday use, but if you're constantly hammering the drive with massive file transfers, Something with dedicated DRAM cache might suit you better. At around $64 for 500 gigabytes, $100 for one terabyte, $175 for two terabytes, and $330 for four terabytes, the SN7100 sits in an interesting spot. It's priced right between budget options and premium flagships, but the single-sided design and excellent thermal performance make it perfect for laptops, ultrabooks, and any system where space is tight. Now, the Crucial P310 series is where things get interesting for budget hunters. Both the 2280 and 2230 versions use the same Fizen E27T controller with Micron's 232 layer QLC NAND, and they're delivering speeds up to 7,100 megabytes per second read and 6,000 megabytes per second write. The beauty here is you're getting near flagship performance at budget prices. Starting with the P310 2280. This full-size drive is perfect for desktops and most laptops. At just $79 for one terabyte, you're getting incredible value for high-performance storage. The 500 gigabyte runs $62, the two terabyte model is $132, and there's even a four terabyte option for $240. Performance is rock solid until you hit the cache limits. The two terabyte model can handle about 650 gigabytes of continuous writes before slowing down to around 350 megabytes per second. But here's the thing, in everyday use, gaming, even content creation, you'll rarely hit those limits. The P310 2230 is the tiny powerhouse for Steam Deck, ROG Ally, and other handhelds. Same specs as its bigger brother, but in a 30 millimeter package. Even in its smaller form factor, the P310 not only stays cool, but also delivers noticeably faster performance. The one terabyte version runs $85, while the two terabyte hits $130. Random performance is slightly behind TLC drives, but in real-world gaming scenarios, you won't feel the difference. Both versions come with 220 terabytes written per terabyte of capacity, which is lower than TLC drives, but perfectly fine for most users. The five-year warranty gives you peace of mind, and Crucial's reputation for reliability is rock solid. Overall, the 2280 is perfect for budget-conscious desktop builders who want Gen 4 speeds without the premium price, while the 2230 is basically the default choice for anyone upgrading a Steam Deck or similar device. Now for PS5 owners, the WD Black SN850P is purpose-built for Sony's console. It's essentially an SN850X with PlayStation certification and a custom heatsink that fits perfectly in the PS5's expansion slot. Sequential speeds hit 7,300 megabytes per second read and 6,900 megabytes per second write on most models, with the 8 terabyte version reaching 7,200 megabytes per second, all easily exceeding Sony's requirements. The real advantage here is zero compatibility worries. This drive is officially licensed and optimized for PS5. 
The heatsink is designed specifically for the console's airflow, and the firmware is tuned for PlayStation's unique workload. In testing, load times in Spider-Man and Horizon matched or beat the internal storage. The 1 terabyte starts at $130, the 2 terabyte sweet spot runs $219, and the 4 terabyte is $399. There's also an 8 terabyte monster at $720 for those who want to install their entire library. All models come with 600 terabytes written per terabyte endurance and a 5 year warranty. While the regular SN850X offers similar performance for less money, the SN850P's PlayStation optimization and perfect fit heatsink make it worth the premium for PS5 users who want guaranteed compatibility. All right, PCIe 5.0 is where things get crazy. The WD Black SN8100 delivers 14,900 megabytes per second reads and 14,000 megabytes per second writes across all models, while Samsung's 9100 Pro reaches 14,700 megabytes per second reads and 13,400 megabytes per second writes, with the 4 terabyte and 8 terabyte versions offering slightly higher read speeds. Both are using cutting edge controllers. The SN8100 rocks a Silicon Motion SM2508, while Samsung's using their in house 5 nanometer Pascal controller. Both drives are available with or without heatsinks, and trust me, you want the heatsink versions for sustained performance. The SN8100 really shines in random performance and sustained workloads. In AI model loading and direct storage tests, it consistently beats everything else. The 1 terabyte costs $140. 2 terabytes is $224, 4 terabytes runs $449, and the 8 terabyte version hits $1,000. Despite being a super fast Gen 5 drive, power usage is surprisingly low at around 7 watts, and the high quality TLC NAND helps keep temperatures under control. Even without a heatsink, I only saw it peak around 85 degrees Celsius, which is impressive for this level of performance. Samsung's 9100 Pro fights back with excellent efficiency and their TurboWrite 2.0 keeping performance high during heavy workloads. Pricing is competitive. 1 terabyte at $135, 2 terabytes for $219, 4 terabytes at $417, and the 8 terabytes for $899. Power efficiency is excellent with Samsung claiming 49% better efficiency than the 990 Pro. Under load, it pulls about 9 watts, significantly less than earlier Gen 5 drives. Between these two, the SN8100 edges ahead in most benchmarks and runs slightly cooler, but Samsung offers better value, especially on that 8TB model, saving you $100. Both absolutely fly in real-world use. We're talking 2.5-second load times for massive LLM models and near instant game loads with direct storage. For most people, the sweet spot is still high end PCIe 4.0, and the battle between the WD Black SN850X and Samsung 990 Pro is fierce. The SN850X is rated for up to 7,300 megabytes per second sequential reads for the 1 to 4 terabyte models and up to 6,600 megabytes per second writes. For the 8 terabyte model, the read spec is slightly lower around 7,200 megabytes per second, though the write remains about 6,600 megabytes per second. Current pricing is solid, one terabyte at $110, two terabytes for $165, four terabytes at $315, and the massive eight terabytes for $680. What sets the SN850X apart is its expanded SLC cache, nearly 600 gigabytes on the two terabyte model meaning it maintains peak speeds way longer than most drives. The game mode 2.0 is mostly marketing, but the drive legitimately loads games faster than the competition. Temperature peaks around 80 to 85 degrees Celsius under sustained loads, so a heatsink is recommended. Endurance is excellent at 600 terabytes written per terabyte for smaller capacities, jumping to 300 terabytes written per terabyte for the 4 terabyte and 8 terabyte models. The Samsung 990 Pro counters with 7,450 megabytes per second reads and 6,900 megabytes per second writes, slightly edging out the WD in sequential performance. Where Samsung really shines is random IOPS, hitting 1.6 million for reads and 1.55 million for writes. Pricing runs 1 terabyte at $110, 2 terabytes for $186, and 4 terabytes at $320. No 8TB option yet. 
The single-sided design, even on the 4TB mode, is perfect for laptops and the PS5. Samsung's Magician software is more polished than WD's dashboard, and the drive runs surprisingly cool, but only with a heatsink. Without one, the controller can hit 95 degrees Celsius, which is concerning. Both drives offer 5-year warranties and similar real-world performance. In gaming, the SN850X has slightly lower latency, while the 990 Pro edges ahead in productivity tasks. Here's my take. If you're gaming on PC, grab the SN850X for its better pricing and consistent performance. For PS5 specifically, spend the extra for the SN850P to get that perfect compatibility and optimized heatsink. For content creation or mixed workloads, the 990 Pro's superior random performance makes it worth the small premium. But honestly, either drive will absolutely transform your system's responsiveness compared to older SSDs. The bottom line? PCIe 5.0 is impressive, but overkill for most users. The WD Black SN7100 is your laptop champion. The Crucial P310 series destroys on value. And for pure performance that actually matters, the SN850X and 990 Pro are still the kings of the hill. Just remember to check current prices. These drives go on sale constantly, and patience can save you serious money. So, there you have it, the best M.2 NVMe SSDs you can get right now. If you found this breakdown helpful, check the links below for the latest prices.